Hello, my name is Johnny McClintock. Uh, I am a product marketing manager for the Aptex codec in Qualcomm. Aptex is an audio coding algorithm that's used in Bluetooth to improve uh, the quality of audio. Um, it's been available for 10 years and we've got approximately 4 billion encoders and 150 million decoders. Today, um, uh, at um, here in London, uh, we're doing a, a pre ifa launch of a, a new audio codec called Aptex Adaptive. Aptex Adaptive is, um, is a codec that will deliver all the benefits of the older Aptex algorithms, i.e. Um, audio quality, it'll deliver low latency, and it'll do it robustly, and it'll do it in an intelligent way and dynamically scale between uh, the different configurations so the consumer is not bothered in any way about configuration the product just works. So what I've got today here is um, a demonstration of streaming content uh, from um, a handset to a um, uh, what we would call crescendo, which is a, a Bluetooth chip that um, will be used predominantly in uh, speakers. So um, the demo, if uh, you zone in there, um, shows, uh, if I go back, Sorry, if I go back, if I start playing music and I come down and what you will see here is um, the bitrate which is 400 kilobits and we've got the RSSI which is an indicator of the RF uh, condition. So if we hold that and then I artificially start to um, affect the RF environment, um, what we'll see is that the RS the RSSI um, goes up and the data rate goes down. Um, you can't hear this, but on the headset, you will. Um, I can guarantee you that there's been no glitches in the audio whenever that occurs. So we then uh, go back, put this on, and you will see that the RSSI returns back, um, and we get the 400. And we're back to 400 odd kilobits, and again, the audio quality. Uh, won't be affected in terms of robustness. So throughout all of that, um, there won't be any glitching. And really, if we're serious about uh, replacing the wire, the wire doesn't glitch. So we need Bluetooth connectivity not to glitch in harsh RF environments. That's the, um, the robustness conversation. Um, the codec is also driven um, uh, by the audio content so it will take um, information from the multi from the header information in the audio file, and, adjust, and the codec will then adjust its performance. So the codec um, is driven by two stimuli: content and the RF environment, um, and that will add to the story about robustness, about audio quality, and about latency, which will allow us to d address CD quality content, high res content, um, and low latency uh, applications such as um, audio for video or gaming or interactive. What we're doing here is very much a um, technology launch. Um, I'm talking about the codec. Um, towards the end of the year, we'll start to see it uh, being made available on Qualcomm platforms for OEMs. And then um, in some months afterwards, probably mid 2019, we'll start to see commercially available products.